I love I this can't. whole look tonight. Because he had his he had his thing on when he's yeah. getting his hair cut, yeah. and then when I saw, where I can't, we, we look ridiculous. No, I love it. <laughs> it's just a sensation. I, I'm so thrilled <sighs> to see you both. You're two Thank people you. I love and admire any time I'm in your orbit, and I'm thrilled to be here right now on this show with you. Oh. I really, really am. I really am. Now, Nick, last time you were on the show, we were chatting over Zoom. I'm g the holidays are coming up. Your son is, was he three He's now? Three now, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you, I, I mean, you must be, after COVID and everything, very excited to do stuff with him. Have you, have you, did you get to see a Santa last he, year? Uh, not last year. I, I... I, I, hope he's, I hope he's not watching. I hope he's gone to bed. But I, he's I was, a massive fan. He, I do he stays know that. Up just yeah. to watch me on talk shows. <laughs> uh, I dressed up as Santa. I did you it. Did I, it? I, I did it. Yeah, because I was like, well, he's not going to get a chance to meet him this year, and it was like a big year for him. So I, so <laughs> I got the, I got the outfit, hid it in the garage, and we were in London. I, I ran outside. It was freezing. There's me in my pants, like putting on my Santa outfit. Yeah. And then banged on the door. And like committed as much as I possibly could to the role. Always you know, an actor, of course. It, I, was like, it. Yeah. I imagine it was your In the role finest of a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, and so did it. Ho ho ho. With all the and then uh, I think I got away with it for a while. I was like, I feel like he's convinced. Yeah. And he was like, Santa came, blah blah. Until later, he he said to to my partner, he said, uh, he was like, Dad, Santa Claus, then, huh? And oh I was no. Like, oh, oh no. Uh, You're uh, not. The so, chameleon type performer you hoped you were. Definitely not. Or definitely. does he now think that you're a Santa Claus and you're going to have to do a solid like 15 years of this? Like, oh, I'm going out to work. I'm... It's the 25th, my busiest time of the year. Yeah, I can yeah. keep it going forever. <laughs> yeah. Until he's 35 or 40. Well, you, yeah. actually, you used to be one of Santa's little helpers. Yeah. At, yeah. A, at a store, right? Tell no, us I've... about this. Oh, it wasn't a store, James. It was bigger than that. Go on. Um, I, I was a, <laughs> an elf. I'd like this sort of an elf? An, a full elf. So it's, it's why I still campaign for workers' rights, is because I know what it's like to be, uh, to be yeah, to be down there. <laughs> Um, I was an elf at this sort of like industrial sized grotto which took place on a race course in Ireland during Christmas when I was at university and used to pay okay money but like 15, 16 hour days. You'd arrive in the dark in your glitter, you'd leave in the dark in your glitter. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I'm big shout out to any elves watching like, um, you know. <laughs> Uh, it's a tough old gig, but like, it really was. It was such tough work because you would have like 60 excited kids coming in every five minutes and I'd have to show them around Santa, Santa's kingdom. And, and they'd be like, I want this, I want that, I want this. And you're like, yeah, I got... And every single year I would sort of put a wish into the Queen's wishing well, hoping sort of that the... That just, you know, maybe the place would, I don't know, something simple like, like burn to the ground or right. something, you know. <laughs> and um, just something small like yeah. that. And then, um, and then one day there was this sort of like, um, uh, there was like 12 Santas, but they thought there was only one Santa. And one of them was played by Nicholas Holt. And, um, <laughs> and they were all behind a door and the good kids would pick the right door. And if they were a good kid, there'd be a Santa Claus behind it. But like there was a Santa behind every one. Right. And then the Santa Claus would shout up through the ceiling like, oh, you've been a very good boy or girl. And then a local person who worked there would sort of throw a toy down uh, for the boy or the girl. Yeah. And one day, one of the local lads fell through the roof. Oh, wow. <laughs> On top, as he was throwing in a present, and the fire alarms went off. Everyone had arrived there by a secret shuttle, which we had to pretend was a secret shuttle, and we were in the North Pole, but then the fire doors flew open. Oh, wow. All 12 Santas had to make their way out into the car park. Oh, and no! Kids, and they were like, oh, terrible business, terrible business, you know, while having their cigarette breaks. Oh, God. And you'd only... of my Santa career. Yeah, it was, but since then, wow. you were a boy after that, <laughs> and you did so many other jobs. <laughs> and, I do. Yeah, it's fairly full on. And I, I, I think I did it with my wish. Right. <laughs> you think you did it? I, I do feel like the elf community is overlooked in the, the building of the toys, mm -hmm. the doing of the toys. I think you're right. A big shout out to any elves out there. We appreciate yeah. everything you've done. Yeah. Nick, we've got to congratulate you on the great. It's back for a second season. Yeah, I love this show so much. Thank you're. You. I mean, I think you're brilliant in everything you do. You and Elf Fanny are particularly fantastic in this. For anyone who doesn't know, what's going on this time around? Uh, season two. So we left it. Uh, where she would like start her coup against me to take power and we pick it up kind of four months later where we're in a stalemate of battle against each other and then uh, essentially she does you know gain power she takes over russia because i get too hungry <laughs> and um, she kind of uh, cooks a really nice ham 
and I'm so hungry that I just sign over the whole of Russia <laughs> to get a piece of ham, you know? I think it deep into character for that. I feel like I've given away more than that for a piece of ham in my life. I mean, your character is is a prisoner for a lot of this season. I mean, you you end up in quite a lot of undignified situations. What was the most unpleasant thing that you had to do? Prisoner. It's it's really fun because there is a complete power shift between these two characters. I'm I'm held as a as a sex slave somewhat for a little while, and then and then I think there's a moment when I escape when I escape and. I'm obsessed with going truffling. The, the character's a big foodie, yes. and, I, and it's the first day of truffle hunting season, so I go out truffling. Um, and she's taken <laughs> my truffle dog away, so I try and I try and snuffle for the truffles myself. <laughs> and, and, it, and it was a weird day in England where it snowed. It was like freezing, and I'm in like my nightgown and a fur hat and a, uh, and a dressing gown, running through <laughs> these fields, snuffling. And then after one take, I... With your own face in the ground? With my own face oh, in the God. snow, just burying it in there, committed, 100% <laughs> in it. And, and then uh, after one take, Emma, who does my makeup, came up and was like, you've got something on your, on your face a little bit. And I was like, ooh, what? And I just wiped it, and it was like, everything else was like snow or brown mud, and this was oh, like no. green, smeared, brown. Oh, no. Poo. Oh, not it was just poo. poo. Oh, it was just not poo. poo, Nicholas. Look no, at was, that. <laughs> there I was, just... That's... Acting my little heart out, <laughs> sticking, my, sticking my face in poo. You are <laughs> not. Committed. If that doesn't get you an Emmy nomination, I don't know. <laughs> like that. that, that I mean that. <laughs> I mean that. Yeah. That should be Hulu's entire Emmy campaign for you to get nominated. To just say. He literally put his face in poo for this. It's like he's not, literally a brown noser. Not, yeah. not you know? on purpose, though. I'm not desperate. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, I think go with it. Go with it. Yeah, go with yeah, it. No, That's what Daniel Day-Lewis would do. Yeah. I covered my face in poo! <laughs>